Some industry folks say there are never any antibiotics in meat because producers must follow withdrawal times. But is that true? The USDA collected samples from nearly 200 cattle slaughtered at U.S. meatpacking plants and analyzed them for 180 veterinary drugs. One in five of the samples from the raised without antibiotic market contained antibiotic residues. New data released by the Food and Drug Administration show that the sales of medically important antibiotics for use in food producing animals rose last year. The FDA's Center for Veterinary Medicine shows 6.2 million kilograms of medically important antibiotics were sold and distributed for use in livestock in 2022. This is up from 5.9 million kilograms in 2021. Dr. David Walinga, a senior health officer with the National Resources Defense Council, told SIDRAP News for every year of the FDA's five-year stewardship plan, sales have gone up, not down. By any measure, that's a complete failure. As in previous years, swine accounted for the highest percentage of medically important antibiotic sales, followed by cattle, turkey, chicken, and other food animals. Dr. Gail Hansen, a veterinarian and public health and veterinary consultant said, it's disappointing that antibiotic use is gradually creeping up again. There doesn't seem to be an interest in preserving the effectiveness of antibiotics for animals and people by working on methods to decrease the need for antibiotics. In other news, a new study showed that nearly Nearly one in five urinary tract infections are linked to E. coli from meat. Please share this and spread the word and be sure to follow me for more facts about the animal-based protein industry.